Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collin. FC Tucson continues its involvement with the community as preps continue for the Barrio de Barrio program on Tucson Southside. It is open to kids between the ages of 6 and 12 this Sunday at Some of You Elementary. And you're looking at footage of the last Barrio de Barrio event with FC Tucson located within and targeted towards kids in the Sunnyside Unified School District. It all goes down at Summit View Elementary, as mentioned, near Nogales Highway on Tucson Southside. Now, SC Tucson is teaming up with Cox, who provides free internet to low-income areas in the Sunnyside District for a pop-up block party. The event will feature a free soccer clinic. Also, soccer equipment and gear will be handed out on Sunday. We're so excited to roll out the 2022 Barrio to Barrio series presented by Arizona Complete Health. The spirit behind Barrio to Barrio is really to create a sense of community by providing food, fun, and football. <laughs> you know, we're just really trying to get kids excited to come out of their house, interact with our pro players and coaches, and maybe just show the skills of what they got and maybe make some friends along the way. Lots of fun. All right. Hey, the Pima College women's soccer team began its season this evening against Yavapai Community College in Prescott. The Aztecs would win one to nil and there are some hefty expectations for the Pima College soccer team. That's for sure. After receiving a preseason national ranking of number two. There it is. And hey, got to give props to the soccer talent in southern Arizona. Get this. Every single member of the Aztec women's soccer squad played high school for a team right here in Pima County. That list includes Bree Gerhardt, the six foot sophomore defender from Tucson, played her prep ball for Tank Verde High School. Bree tells us seeing all the success from her teammates, many of which suited up for schools in the old Pueblo that competed for and won state titles, also pumps her up. From all the people that came from like South Point and Catfoot, they were always there, out there winning championships. And for me, I just liked, it was really cool to like meet all them and knowing that these girls are obviously really good because they have rings behind them. We know what our expectations are of us from not only our coaches, our fans, but all of Tucson and especially with the, the national tournament being in Tucson. I hope that we can really get there and make it first of all and then win the whole thing and do it for Tucson. We are literally going out there to the death. Like We're going all out there giving all we have. Got to get pumped up. Hey, Angelina Amparano, who you just saw with the uh, shutout tonight as the goalkeeper, did a great job. Okay, moving on, Coach Becca Moros and the U of A soccer team took the field again on the road against Nebraska. The Wildcats came into the early evening matchup hoping to remain unbeaten in three games, and guess what? They still are. Arizona battled the Cornhuskers to a 1-1 draw, still undefeated as the Wildcats find their groove. Um, and we've always had a plan of how we were going to build what needed to get done first, second, third. Um, and I think as we've kind of knocked off some of those, those building blocks, we've been able to go to a little more sophisticated stuff. We've been able to think quicker, play faster, and do some of the things that we were doing kind of slowly and inconsistently at a, a much higher level, you know, minute after minute after minute. After minute after minute and game after game, still unbeaten. All right, from international football to American football, the Coach Jed Fish radio show will begin this Monday and go on throughout the football season. The show is broadcast at the Union Public House at 6.30 p.m. and hosted by 1290 AM's Brian Jeffries, the longtime voice of the Arizona Wildcats. All are welcome to turn out and hey, Coach Fish is able to take specific questions from fans at the broadcast as well. Obviously, the topic of conversation for the first show on Monday will be on Arizona's upcoming opponent, San Diego State. The Wildcats will take on the Aztecs in Southern Arizona at 12, or rather on the road, not in Southern Arizona, but in Southern California at 12.30 p.m. one week from this Saturday. We have everything you need to know about the Arizona Wildcat football team on KVOA.com and on the KVOA YouTube site. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Kala. We'll be right back.